Let's meet our guest tonight. She is a chart topping Grammy Award winning pop sensation. Her brilliant album, Solar Power, is out right now. Please welcome the mighty Lord. <laughs> I'm good. I'm loving these specs. Oh, hey, thank you. Just I didn't, make things I didn't a little... know these specs were coming out. Here they are. Do you mind me calling? <laughs> do you mind me calling them specs? They're a spec. They're a spec. Yeah. I love it. Is it too rock and roll to wear? A spec? God no. I feel like you can still see my pupils. So it's can okay. see, still see. Yes, you're right. They're you not know? full shades. Yeah. Full shades would feel weird. Yeah, you're it would. on the full shade. It would. Yeah. <laughs> the only people I think can get away with full shades are Migos. Yeah, future. But when I was doing Migos and they all had full shades, I thought it would be weirder if I could see your eyes. <laughs> now, this is your first time here at the show. I know. Um, and we're so thrilled that you've come to us to do your residency. <laughs> it's so exciting for all of us. There's so many fans here. Um, how's, how's it going? Have you enjoyed the week so far? I've had such a great week. Honestly, it's been so much fun. We kind of don't want to leave. It's been amazing. Well, the good the thing stairs. is you don't have to. Now, you're a Grammy winner. You've sold millions and millions of records. But I didn't know this. You, you got your big break. You got signed because of a talent show that you were in when you were, like, 12? Yeah. <laughs> is that... How does this happen? And how, how did... Most people don't get their big breaks at 12 in a talent show. Well, talk me through how you went from there to here. OK, so I uh, entered a talent show at my... It's called my your intermediate school, which I guess is, like, middle school. Yeah. Um, it was after lunch, and so I, like, got ready. I put my special outfit on and uh, did a song. My friend played guitar, and um, somebody filmed it, and somehow it ended up with the head of the record company in New Zealand that I'm now signed to. So I got, like, cold called. <laughs> Which is insane. Like I'd never um, thought that I would do anything like this. I was like a, a big nerd, you know. I just read books, and uh, someone was like, "Would you ever think about doing music?" <laughs> and then I started writing songs, and was like, "Oh, I am obsessed with this. This is what I want to do with my life." That's how it happened. And that's the same record deal that you're signed to I'm right now. I'm still on it. Yeah, yeah. Or just like a slightly more, you know, graduated sure. version. <laughs> Yeah, it would be. It would, you. You should sack your manager if you're on the exact same contract you signed as well. Yeah, yeah. I love this story. Yeah. My okay. only issue with it is I think it gives false hope to all kids entering talent shows. Oh, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Because it, it, like, I can't stress enough, kids. It won't happen. <laughs> it's like. It's I think it's good experience. that they know because you hear this story <laughs> and there's a kid backstage like. You wait till they see this magic trick. It's not going to happen. It might happen. It might happen. It won't. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, I'm interested to talk to you about this. You recently have taken a, a massive a break from social media. You've completely cut it out of your life. Why did you do this? Was it difficult? And what do you do instead? Um, I did it because I felt like my brain wasn't working very well anymore. Uh, it was horribly difficult, hardest thing I've ever done, still horribly difficult every day. Um, I think it's like, it would be like stopping eating sugar for me. Like, I still eat tons of sugar, and if I don't have sugar, I feel insane. Um, and the first little while of not being on social media was totally like that. I was so crabby, I felt so disconnected. Um, but it's how my life is now. But I will say, the brain will make anything into a social network. Like, I got rid of Twitter, I got rid of Instagram, I got rid of Facebook, I blocked YouTube. That was a big one. I was like, this is kind of a social network. But now, my social network is the New York Times cooking app. <laughs> so I go... <laughs> I go on the New York Times cooking app and I look at the comments. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, what's this person saying? Like, that's become a source of community for me. And you get all these weird little stories. Someone's like, you know, I make this for my husband when he gets home from work and da 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 and he works as this. And you're like, you know, oh. <laughs> Every once in a while you get some kind of crazy so detail. So I know saint, you know, like, you'll find something and you'll make it into the thing. But I've done this. <laughs> I've taken, like, Instagram off my phone, Twitter off my phone and yeah. things like that. And then, I'll, and then I'll sort of, maybe I'll do it like a month or whatever, and then I'll think, oh, you know. And I'll put it back on and yeah. check it. Have you blocked your phone so you physically can't 
put it back on your phone? Well, I have um, a lovely assistant who has all my passwords, but what I actually did, this was my next level of crazy, I got rid of um, like a search engine function on my cell phone. So I can't Google anything on my phone. I can't, like I have no Safari or anything like that. I kind of love that. But it's great. You actually yeah. don't need to Google as many things as you think you need to. Like just do it at yeah. home on your computer, you know. It'll but also fun. it gives you a moment to think, oh, yeah, I wonder I if need... I do know the answer yeah, to that. Yeah, exactly. Think yeah. about it. And if yeah. you don't, then you go, well, it, it must be important enough. Yeah. For me to go over there and do this. Have yeah. you found that like your mental health is better without reading comments and things about you or was any was any of it about that about reading stuff about yourself in those no, on those sites? No, I never really read anything about myself. It's just sort of the experience of reading about the world all the time. I sort of I felt like I didn't have time to s decide how I felt about anything. I just would be like, what does everyone else think? And that will be, some version of that will be what I think. Um, now we just give it a bit more time. But it's very, very difficult, and I truly only do it because I, like, I'm trying to write songs and I was wasting a ton of time, so. <laughs> well, no halo. <laughs> I applaud you for doing it. I think I'm, I'm... Do you give think it a you, go, you can I would, go. I kind yeah. of, I sort of, I feel like I've dipped my toes, and I think I've half done it. Honestly, and I've been threatening for a while. Yeah. I did buy a Nokia, like, 3210. Oh, yeah, I did that too. And I was yeah. going to do that, but yeah. then I really love playing 8-ball pool. <laughs> yeah. I just... Yeah, this I can't... is realised. We'll discuss this in the break, but I'm really <laughs> getting good at it. Yeah, the phone has so many amazing functions. Like, yeah. It's fun to actually enjoy them. Maps, I love maps. Like, maps is an incredible function. You have a... A thing in your phone that can tell you exactly where you are and where to go, like that's oh, incredible. Yes, that I love. I you thought know. you meant you're just looking at like, oh, look at Rwanda. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh my God, look at this part of Denmark. No, I get it. Yeah, the map for telling you where to go. Incredible. Yeah, it's, it is. It's yeah. brilliant. Appreciate I applaud you for doing this, Lord. I think everybody should take a <laughs> leaf out of your book. I do, because I've got to say, if it was giving you space to write songs, you have absolutely written some brilliant songs on this album. Congratulations Thank on you. Solar Power. Uh, <laughs> number one in more than 50 countries uh, on Apple Music. Now, when this cover came out, <laughs> let's talk about it. <laughs> How many images did you look at before you were like, that's it, that's the cover? Well... Well, we've had to do some blurring here. Yeah, I see there's a little lens flare happening. Mm. Um, love that. Uh, no, it was really just between that and one other photo. I just, there was something so cool about the shape to me. Mm. Um, I didn't even think it was that, like, rude or, like, spicy. I don't think it's rude. You know what no. I mean? It just um, it felt free and, like, playful to me. So. Yeah. I, well, yeah, it's just a, it's just a bum. <laughs> yeah. It's also, like, I like to do things that people wouldn't expect of me. Like, people would be like, oh, that's you? Okay, you know. I love it, and the songs are... So good. You should be so proud of it. And I'm excited because you're going on tour next year. Tell us about the vibe of the tour. What sort of, what sort of shows are you hoping to bring us? Well, I feel like people want to have a really big, like, transcendent experience at my shows. They're like, show us something, you know, big. And so I just want to, like, be as connected as possible. I'm going to try and do it without relying on a ton of screens. Uh -huh. um, and I'm playing kind of intimate venues, like we're doing sort of theatres, which is cosy. Um, I really like doing smaller shows, you know. You should see me in an arena, I'm like not at ease. Like it's not my zone, you know, like I'm in like a basketball locker room. Right. You know, I'm like, yeah, what yeah, am yeah. I? Yeah. It's like, it, you know, it doesn't feel... It doesn't like feel like so a much. natural place for you to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's many people in a basketball locker room <laughs> eating fancy cheese while they're on the New York Times cooking app. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a regular thing. Um, well, I can't wait to come and see the tour next year, and congratulations. The album is absolutely brilliant. Solar Power is available everywhere. You get your music. Stick around. More with Lord when we come back, everybody. <laughs>